It's me! I'm back! But I have a new form! Which is a chibi. So, what do you think of me now, huh? I know, I know. I look dangerous. But don't be fooled. I'm a lot more dangerous than you think. Ha! Ha! So, anyways, in this video, I'm gonna create a tier list of all the Assassin's Creed games that I've played so far. However, I'm not necessarily gonna grade them on how good most people perceived them or even how innovative they were, but much rather how much fun I've had playing them. <laughs> and we've got a good amount of games here, some of which I've played, some of which I haven't. If you're not familiar with the grading system, S is good, special tier, A is slightly worse, but still very good, B, C, D, E, F, just, I think that's very self-explanatory, like even if you haven't seen it before, which I highly doubt, but you never know. And then this section is reserved for games that I haven't played yet. So, let's start off with the earliest game, in terms of timeline that is. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, starting right off the bat, it's... It's actually a great game. Given it's not really an Assassin's Creed, is it? I mean, the protagonist isn't an assassin. There is no creed in there. No assassins. Creed at least. You play long before the Brotherhood even forms. You don't have a hidden blade. Nothing like that. In terms of how much it is an actual Assassin's Creed, it, it would be honestly here. Like, because it's not an Assassin's Creed. Realistically. However, in terms of gameplay and how much I liked it, that's a different story. And I gotta be honest with you, I do very much like linear storylines, but Odyssey just did something different, where you were able to completely decide your own story, what would happen, if the ending's good or if it's bad, or what nuances could be good or bad. And I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the gameplay, I enjoyed the gameplay even more than I did Origins. I... yeah, I really quite liked it in terms of being Assassin's Creed, it's honestly not an Assassin's Creed, but since I'm grading it on how much I liked playing it, I'm actually gonna put it here. And I know, most of you aren't gonna agree with that, probably, but it's my opinion. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Anyways, next, Origins. Origins was the first one that did that RPG-style kind of gameplay of Assassin's Creed. And I gotta say, I, once again, really quite enjoyed playing it. However, the leveling system was even more active than it later was in Odyssey, because it started with the leveling system. And I'm not so sure they did it right. Then again, it is the start of the Brotherhood and it had an incredible story with Bayek, and it was just amazing to see all of that play out, and I absolutely loved it. So, even though I really liked the story, and the story, I'd say, was definitely better than Odyssey, gameplay-wise, I would put it slightly below, personally. Anyways, next line, Assassin's Creed Bloodline. That's not really Assassin's Creed 1, which is one of the very few games that I haven't played. At least I think it's few, but hey. I played this, however, and whilst being interesting to see Altair, I've seen some of the stuff of Assassin's Creed 1 through gameplay, but I didn't play it myself. It was certainly interesting to see how stuff played out after the events of this original Assassin's Creed, and I don't think it's quite in C tier. I personally would put it in D tier, just because, well, it's it just wasn't that captivating whilst playing, for me. Next stop is Assassin's Creed 2. Now, Assassin's Creed 2 is where we started out with Ezio, and whilst most people actually probably started out playing Assassin's Creed 2 or Assassin's Creed 1, and reminisce about those games, 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, as sort of the main actual Assassin's Creed games and their childhood, I actually started out with playing Black Flag, and then continued on with Unity and Syndicate. And only later I played Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. So honestly, for me personally, that sort of middle center of Assassin's Creed is more where my favoritism lies. <laughs> Thus, I gotta say, it's not 
I didn't quite enjoy it as much as I enjoyed Origins whilst playing, but I did very much still enjoy it, and yeah, I'm gonna put it into B tier. Next up, Brotherhood. It's basically felt like an upgraded version of Assassin's Creed 2, and like an extension of the same game, but better. So honestly, it's not still not quite at Origins on how much I enjoyed it, but certainly not below Assassin's Creed 2. So I'm gonna put it into B tier too. Last of the trilogy, Revelations. That one, that one's been quite interesting. I like the style of it, the look of it, and how it failed to play. I actually really quite enjoyed Revelations, and I'd go as far to say I enjoyed it as much as Origins, and definitely more than Brotherhood and 2. So I'm gonna put it into A tier as well. Let's put Black Flag back again. Next is Assassin's Creed 3. Liberation, which I as a child always kept mixing up with Revelations. Revelations, Liberation, yeah. The overall story was sorta interesting, I suppose. Nothing too special from it. It was interesting to have Connor as your sidekick for a little while, having seen him from the outside and everything. That was kind of interesting. Also, the part where she's taking advantage of her place in society at that time and Stuff like that and just, yeah, I quite enjoyed playing it. Whenever I look at that game, I always remember that very part where she improvised makes hidden blades and I'm just like, how the frick did you make proper working hidden blades out of those materials? Like, you basically just binded a couple of blades loosely to your arm, but they work like hidden blades, like, bang, <laughs> okay. But I still, I still quite liked it. I did certainly like it more than Bloodline, but not quite as much as Brotherhood or 2, so I'm gonna put it into C tier. Next up, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The very first game that I've ever played of Black Flag, and I really enjoyed it. Honestly, once again, it wasn't quite Assassin-y that much, <laughs> because, well, for me, it was kind of, when I started it out, a pirate game. Not an Assassin's Creed game that much. It was just me sailing and, well, doing assassin stuff as a pirate. And I really darn enjoyed my time there. Just sailing away sometimes, not even going anywhere, just seeing where the boat takes me. And yeah, just exploring, just being a pirate with awesome skills. <laughs> Black Flag was an amazing game. Straight up, gonna put that into S tier. Because for me that was, well, as I said, the very first game and I freaking loved the Black Flag. Unity was the one I played right after and I was expecting an upgrade and darn did I get one. Luckily for me, I didn't play it when it came out <laughs> because there were so many bugs when it came out. However, I played it when there weren't so many bugs anymore. I didn't float around. Every once in a while, my parkour animation did a little double jump instead of a normal line, but that didn't bother me too much. The overall parkour was really fun, really enjoyable and perhaps even the best parkour for me that I've ever felt in any game. I really enjoyed it. Storyline was also interesting and I got really into it. Also, by the way, Black Flag, amazing storyline too. I'm gonna put it into S tier as well. I really darn enjoyed my time with it. Like those other games that I absolutely loved playing every minute of it. Next up, Syndicate that I played right after Black Flag and Unity. And I was really interested to see how assassins may feel and look in a more modern area. And I'd say I didn't get disappointed. I've seen a lot of people saying it needs to go further back in time, as it did later with Origins and Odyssey and stuff like that, but personally, I would love to see more future assassins. Sure, their skills get kind of watered down, the less they have to fight for survival and stuff like that, but therefore they can use more things, different things. For example, Jacob just straight up evaded bullets all the time, where Edward had to use someone as a shield. Like, that's quite badass. The fighting was fast, perhaps a little too fast for my taste. I like Unity's fighting perhaps the best out of all games, but Assassin's Creed Syndicate's fighting was still very interesting, and it almost used the surroundings during the fight as much as they did in Unity, where I'd, for example, spear someone, pick him up, slam him into the wall, and then just let him fall down in Unity, or take my spear, spear through, go to the other side, rip it out again, and other stuff. <laughs> so, 
in Syndicate fighting someone, throwing them against a box, but the box is only hip high, so their upper body just slams into the corner, but they go back up and then we continue fighting. That sort of stuff I remember from Syndicate and I really enjoyed it. The parkour was a little clunkier <laughs> for sure and slower, but it wasn't meant to be the main transport. It was more meant to be grappling gun of course and horse wagon things. So I'd say I'm gonna put Syndicate once again right up here. I absolutely freaking loved it. But of course all those games except for Odyssey were basically my childhood Assassin's Creed games. The other ones I only played later. Next on the list Assassin's Creed 1. And I gotta say unfortunately I didn't get around to play it yet. I did mean to but well, I just haven't. <laughs> I have it downloaded, even. I have bought it, I've downloaded it, but I haven't played it yet. So that game's gonna have to wait for a proper review for later. Next up is the Assassin's Creed movie. Now, when watching that movie, I did expect a lot from the movie. And I was not satisfied at all after watching the movie. I really didn't like it after I watched it. And yeah, I guess there was just too much that I expected off of the movie. And I always thought the movie was quite bad until I rewatched it like one or two years later. And after that rewatch, I actually quite enjoyed it. I knew what was to be expected. And after that, it was actually quite interesting to watch. I liked the fighting scenes. I liked the storytelling. I liked a lot about it. So I'm actually going to put this movie instead of here where I, or here where I would have put it right after watching it to see it here, because, well, it was quite nice. Assassin's Creed Identity, the first Assassin's Creed mobile game. And, well, whilst having been executed medium for a mobile game, I'd say, it certainly wasn't the worst thing to ever be produced, but playing it, eh, after a couple of missions, I quickly stopped it. I didn't finish it. I'm not even sure if there was anything to finish or if it just was repetitive missions. And of course, no free roaming. And yeah, whilst it's not quite F tier because it wasn't disrespectful or trash, I'd only really put it into E because, well, E, I think it's just there. <laughs> However, I am quite interested to see how the new mobile game of Assassin's Creed is gonna look like. That's gonna come out sometime next year, probably at the start, but we'll see when it comes out. However, I do think Assassin's Creed Rebellion is a mobile game too, right? That I haven't played yet, huh? Perhaps that's worth checking out with small versions of Assassin's. I don't know. Assassin's Creed Pirates? I'm not sure what that is. If that's only the multiplayer. If it's the multiplayer, then I'd put it into D tier. But if it's not, then I'm gonna put it here. As unfortunately, I'm also gonna have to put all the other games that are still lined up here. Because those games I haven't played yet. Assassin's Creed 3 I have downloaded. The remastered version. But once again, I haven't come around to play it just yet. I just do other things currently. <laughs> but wait, I did play some, like perhaps a quarter, of Assassin's Creed Chronicles in China. And that one I actually think was quite nice. A different spin on Assassin's Creed from a two, more, more 2D perspective. And I like the hidden blades in the shoe. So I'm gonna put it actually from the experience right here with Liberations and the movie on C tier. Because, well, I enjoyed it. But the rest I just haven't played yet. But then, there's one more game, one more game that I haven't played. And if we just rearrange this a little bit and write something in here. No, because I refuse <laughs> to, well, play this guy. I'm sure he's a good guy. No, honestly, Spoilers ahead, don't listen for the next 10 seconds if you don't want to hear spoilers, uh, but I know who he killed. He killed Arevale, May I might have pr pronounced that wrong, but hey, and he killed Arno's father and I cannot excuse that and I don't want to have any part in that. I don't want to play that if I have to do that. I just stay in that mission and be like, I'm not gonna do that. Flip you, I'm out. 
So I'm just not gonna play that game. I know it's mostly just straight up copy and paste from Black Flag. And even though I quite enjoyed that game, I'm not going to play this game. All of those I might play in the future. This one I will not. I refuse. <laughs> but yeah, this is my tier list of Assassin's Creed games that I've played and the ones I haven't played and the one that I refuse to play. What do you think? Is your opinion similar? I doubt it. Let's have a look at the community ratings for this game. There we go. Yep, as I thought, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, right on top there. I would have expected one to be as voted as well from people, but okay. Origins, I can understand that. Uh, Black Flag, very much agree. Those two I just didn't quite get into that much and they weren't my childhood, but many people that start or still do play Assassin's Creed, those games were quite exactly their childhood. Rogue is supposed to be A. Well, with assets from Black Flag, I'm not wondering too much. Unity up here, Revelations and 3. I have heard very much good about 3 for sure. Then Syndicate, Odyssey, okay, okay, and Valhalla. Valhalla I just don't really want to play because first of all the story is supposed to be real long with real little Assassin's Creed stuff in there. And whilst I really enjoyed the setting of Old Greek and Sparta and all that sort of stuff, whilst I could get into that, I'm just not that into Vikings, honestly. And if it's a real long Viking game, eh, I'm not really planning to play that anytime soon, honestly. Then no votings into C. <laughs> Very decisive as we can see. Liberations, Chronicles, okay, okay. Movie, I can understand why people didn't like the movie for sure. I mean, I didn't like it at first. Then the 2D games, except for China. China is apparently the best one of them. Well, I've only played it. The other ones I haven't, but all right. Bloodlines, understandable. Rebel, rebellion, not, not revelations, rebellion, yeah. Identity, yeah, that'd be, I suppose, understandable because neither one of those four is a full game. By itself not a console not a PC game it's mobile game DS game uh, that's either the DLC or just some off thing and a DS game as well I know there are more games I think actually like a jump and run with Ezio and some other stuff but I haven't played those either so those would go right into here non played <laughs> but anyways I don't think I'm that far off from what a lot of people think Except, of course, for all-time favorites, like 2, Brotherhood. What do you think? Did I put it in a place where you put it? Or do you fully disagree with my choice and say, No, Odyssey can't be up there because it wasn't Assassin's Creed. It needs to be there. Or maybe you'd say, No, Unity was way too bugged out. You can't put it there. Or, Ah, 2 needs to be higher because so much good stuff. And, ah... <laughs> But in any case, I hope you enjoyed me talking about the different games and putting them into my little tier list. And yeah, write down in the comments if you have a game that you think should be ordered very differently for some reason. Or if you have a specific reason why I should play one of those games perhaps in the future. Alrighty then, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you like my little chibi. And I'll see you in another video. Have a good one. Bye! Cha! Hoo! Ha! Oh, ha, bye.